Hello everyone, so in this lesson we are going to compare the boiling point of butane, which is on the left, and 2-methylpropane. So that is a propane, which is a 3-carbon molecule, and then on carbon number 2 we have a methyl, which is a 1-carbon branch. So let's start off with butane, because remember we're not going to separate these two from each other. If someone gives you a bottle of butane, then all that's going to be in that container would be butane. And so what you would have is all trillions and trillions and trillions of these little molecules floating around in the liquid phase. And that would be butane. And then if you want to turn that into a gas, you would have to heat up that little container. And so that all the intermolecular bonds could be broken, not bonds, forces. So that all those little forces could be broken. And so that the particles can escape from one another and go into the gas phase. So you got to be careful about that. You don't want to mix butane and 2-methylpropane together. That's not what the question's saying. So let's look at butane first. I just want to quickly show you guys a three-dimensional view of butane. So we can see the four carbons. So we've got a carbon there, 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 and there. And then we've got the hydrogen. So we've got three hydrogens attached to the end molecule. Two of them are attached to that carbon, two of them to that carbon, and then three of them to the carbon at the end. Now, if you had to zoom into a container filled with butane, you would see trillions of these little guys. So it would look something like this. And then if, and here I've only drawn nine of them. You see, he's got one, two, three, and then I've got three rows. So we've got nine of those. Now, if you wanted to boil this thing, you would have to go and separate all of them from each other. So you would have to go and break all of those intermolecular forces. Remember, we're not going to actually break, we're not going to break the physical bonds in the molecule. Those are called intra, and most things do not boil like that. There are some things, such as diamond, if you want to melt it, you physically have to break those bonds, or any type of metallic or ionic compound. But when we're looking at simple covalent compounds, we're just going to break the intermolecular forces. And so here we've got nine of them, but I'm just going to, I'm going to now show you two butane molecules next to each other, and we're going to try to analyze the type of intermolecular forces that they would have between them. And so here we have two butane molecules. Now we know that this butane molecule is nonpolar. You can see that everything balances out. Your alkanes are always going to be nonpolar. Okay, so these are both nonpolar. So when you have two nonpolar molecules floating past each other, they are going to exert a slight force of attraction, okay, along the length like this. And those are going to be London forces, which are very, very weak. And so we would expect that the boiling point of butane is going to be quite low. In fact, if you Google it, the boiling point of butane is negative one. So negative one degrees, if you can get the temperature above that, then butane will be in a gas phase. So that means at room temperature, which is about 20 degrees, butane will be a gas because 20 is more than minus one. And you must remember that temperature is actually a measure of the amount of energy. So you need energy to break these bonds. And so if you have 20 degrees, that is a, that is a type of energy. And as long as it's more than minus one, then your butane will be in the gas phase. Now we're gonna look at 2-methylpropane. If we look at 2-methylpropane, what we see is that it's got, it's still got four carbons, so we can see that there's one, two, three, four, and then the hydrogens is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's C4, H10, which is exactly the same as butane. Remember, any type of alkane, whether it's got branches or not, will always follow the general formula of CnH2n plus 2. And that is why it is okay for me to be comparing butane with this 2-methylpropane, because they have the same number of carbons and hydrogens. It wouldn't be fair to compare butane with, like, heptane, which has seven carbons. I mean, you could compare them, but heptane would definitely have the higher boiling point because it's got 
a longer chain and so there would be more area for the London forces. But now we've got something interesting happening because we're comparing two molecules that both have C4H10 and what we're going to find is that their boiling point points are going to be completely different and I'm going to explain why and what is happening. If I put two methyl propane and butane alongside each other, which one seems more bulky? Well, can you see that two methyl propane has this three carbon chain and then it's got this attachment sticking out on the side, whereas butane is fairly linear okay it follows a straight line whereas with 2-methylpropane it sort of has this piece that you have to take into account and so it doesn't follow a straight line so would you agree with me that because 2-methylpropane is more bulky it won't these these molecules won't be able to get as close to each other as when you have butanes so I mean this part here is fairly close but have a look at this distance over here that is quite a long distance right I mean you can attract over there and over there but because of this large distance would you expect the forces to be strong or weak well well done if you realize that that means they're gonna be very weak the, the closer they are the stronger and so is it gonna be very easy or very difficult to separate these molecules so for example separate this one from this one it's going to be very easy because the forces are very weak due to the the long distance and so would we expect the boiling point of this these molecules to be high or low would it be easy to separate them well it's very easy and so you don't need a lot of energy and so you don't need a very high temperature and so I expect that the boiling point of this compound is going to be less than butane because if we look at butane again we can see how closely these butane molecules can get to each other you can see that these distances are a lot less than what we have over here for example and so in summary butane is going to have a higher boiling point meaning that it's more difficult to separate their molecules from each other because the the forces are stronger because they are closer together so what summary can we draw from this if you have molecules if you are comparing molecules that have the same chemical formula so C4H10 but the one has branches and the other one doesn't then the one that has branches, which is this one, will have a lower boiling point because the molecules cannot get close to each other and so the force of attraction is lower and so it's easier to break those forces or to overcome those forces and so the, and so the boiling point is going to be lower.